What is good? Diamond Dynasty, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video today. Today, man, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, what we're going to be reacting to today, man. So, look, it's Jay just dropped this video on Sexy Red and her tape getting leaked. Okay, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already seen what's going on with Sexy Red and her tape. I'm pretty sure y'all heard a lot of things. Comment down below. I want to know whose freaky ass went to go look at the tape. Let me know in the comment section down below. Sexy Red is not sexy to me. So I had no intentions of going to find her tape and watching that shit. And also, the reports that I have heard about her tape does not make me want to go research that shit and find out what it is. All right, so let's get into the video. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend to tell a friend today ain't your mama telling Uncle Joe. He's still a mother freaking hoe. Let's get right into the video, man. Let's get it. <sighs> Boy, you can't make this stuff up, boy. I never I thought I'd see the day where rappers would just openly post something on their story. So probably something that's meant to be sacred. Oh, so she put it on her story. I heard she leaked it herself. And then I heard that somebody else, like one of her niggas that she smashed, leaked it. So I really don't know what the case is. It could also be a humiliation ritual. I really don't know, guys. Comment down below and let me know what y'all think. And bruh, it just Why is her belt? Um, undone right here, y'all. It's like, it's crazy. Now, I'm gonna be real with y'all, bro. <laughs> I think that this wasn't in her control. I think she looked by dumb as hell. Somebody played up under her, and it's sad, bro. Man, what is good, YouTube? Y'all already know. And y'all already know how I feel about humiliation rituals and how the industry is wicked, and they be having people do stuff, you know, behind the scenes. And then later on, use it as blackmail or use it for situations like this, humiliation rituals and shit like that, right? We all know that she's just starting to pop off. And normally, you got to do something strange for a little piece of change. It comes with humiliation. You know, it's a lot of rituals that you got to do to get to a level of success that she's getting at right now, man. You know, vibing with Drake, you know, and, and, and being at all these high profile events and just hanging with A-listers. Just coming out the gate like that, you know she had to do something strange for a little piece of change. That's just how the industry works. You know who it is. It's Lucky J here, y'all. Back up with another video, man. And today, y'all, we got a crazy and wild video to talk about, man. It seems like in today's classroom, y'all, we got up and coming St. Louis rapper Sexy Red on the roster, man. She's not it seems sexy at like all. she's responding to her tape that got leaked on her IG story, mm -hmm. man. And a lot of people. And I'm going to say this. I did see her sit down mukbang with Zias. She seems to be like. You know, just a regular type of around the way girl, right? But the shit that she promotes, the shit that she's about, I just don't fuck with. So that makes her not sexy to me. Well, I'm pointing fingers and a lot of people are skeptical. And now they're starting to question her. Now, we're going to talk about all of it. I'm going to give y'all my opinion. We're going to talk about the little video, I guess. We're going to just break it down. But before we do... First thing I'm gonna ask y'all do real quick, man, is to hit that like button, bro. Now, if y'all don't know, last night out of nowhere, uh, the internet was going crazy after pretty much someone, either Sexy Red or the person that she was with, or I don't know if she got hacked or whatever, pretty much uploaded a video <laughs> of her and the guy having, you know, sexual intercourse. And I'm talking about, bro, it was as open as, as it can be. Sexy Red was all in the camera and they uploaded to her main Instagram. Now, of course, the internet went crazy because, of course, a lot of creeps and uh, freaks been wanting to see her naked. Why? <laughs> because she portrayed herself as that image. She talked so freaky in her music. A lot of dudes was waiting on that moment. Now, it went to going viral all over social media, per usual. And a lot of people were disgusted. And a lot of people mm -hmm. were saying, oh, oh, it wasn't brown. And all this other junk. Mm -hmm. Man, you know. And it <laughs> seems like Sexy Red didn't know what was going on. Now, Sexy Red to, to her Twitter today and said, I'm so heartbroken. Anybody that knows me know I won't do no goofy ish like that mm. with the heartbroken emoji and the sad face. Now, at first, a lot of people was like, "Yeah, right." Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, "Yeah, LOL." Or saying it's for they. <coughs> I don't think that she will openly do that because if y'all don't know, man, Sassy Red, if you watch her interview, she is or comes off as one of the most down to earth person, and she ain't no liar. She she seems like a person that's just gonna tell the truth no matter how. I mean, we can't really judge a person off a of video that we see. But I will say, seeing the mukbang that she had with Zeus, right? She does seem like just a round-the-way girl, regular girl. I don't believe that she would leak that shit. You just never know what people's intentions are and what they will do to get clout. How you like it regardless. <clears throat> now, 
if y'all don't know, maybe like a couple weeks ago, she got caught. Some dude recorded her in the bed. Some dude with an ankle monitor on pretty much recorded her in the bed while she was sleeping. Lame and ass And she nigga. said she didn't appreciate that, and she didn't know that he did it. Lame ass nigga. That was sneaky. That was on some sneaky shit. No, that might be my Imagine trying to, imagine being a whole dude, a whole man, trying to get clout by sleeping in a sexy red bed and then uploading the pictures. That shit is lame as hell. I think he you know he did that? No, not at first. Till I woke up. Was you mad? Yes. Cuss him out? Yeah, I cuss him out. Cuss him out. Would you record him again? Yeah, <laughs> but don't. Would you want to be recorded while you <laughs> He said, would you fuck with him again? She said, yeah, but. <laughs> I thought he was lying. Um, he was alive. That's what I'm saying. He was already alive. That's your problem, Sexy Red. Your standards is low to the motherfucking flow. And you can tell by the damn music she makes and promotes. She said, yeah, she would fuck with the nigga again. First of all, the nigga got an ankle bracelet on, right? Strike one. Strike two, the lame-ass nigga uploads y'all in the bed together. And you said that you would actually fuck with this nigga again? That goes to show y'all, man, that she is the epitome of I don't know my fucking worth. The epitome of I don't value my motherfucking self, my pussy, my coochie, no none of that shit, right? Just treat me however, and you can still come back. That's crazy. Now, as y'all seen, she was on the video with Zia and said that she didn't know that and said she don't play like that. Like, you know, like a lot of stuff she like to keep to herself. Now, the reason why I think that she didn't know that because, you know, the type of dudes that she said that she liked, um, street dudes, quote unquote, bums a lot of the time. Them type Bum of dudes. You, thank you for saying bums. That's a fact. You don't expect nothing less from them. Um, you know, and I feel like to be honest with you, um, he probably did it out of spite, you know, trying to look cool. But the whole time, you know, Sessy Rick is getting big and big as an artist, and that's not an image that she probably don't really want to put out there like that, such as literally seeing her naked. Now it's funny because DJ Academic, which I don't know, I don't agree with a lot of stuff he said, but he put out something, man, and said <clears throat> Jesse Red got to start effing broke bonds with nothing to lose. How? What did I just say, y'all? What did I say? She just finished saying that this nigga aired out the pictures. And then turn around and say she would still fuck with the nigga again, bro. Where are your fucking standards? What do you expect from fucking with niggas who ain't got shit to lose? Like he said, what do you expect from low life ass niggas, bro? Low life ass shit. That's exactly what you're going to get. Every nigga she with, that's what trying to let the world know they smashing her. <laughs> I love how down to earth she is, but it's about time she leave the niggas with anchor on the zone and they mama's mama house basement where they, where they belong. belong. That's a fact. fact. I don't think Sexy Red uploaded that herself. Clearly, it's an nigga holding her phone and recording. That nigga probably just uploaded that is to her story and called it a day. And that's what it seems like, man. Because if y'all don't know, man, Sexy Red says she likes street dudes, man. She literally said the most romantic thing a man did for her was rob somebody and give it to her as a gift. And this is who a lot of these young girls are looking up to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this shit getting sad, y'all. Wanna well, be honest? This shit getting sad. The most romantic thing somebody did for me, it was my first boyfriend. I was just in high school. He was a little older than me. And it was Valentine's Day. I'll never forget. He robbed somebody and gave me the money and gave me the bill he stole. And it was just so sweet because he was out of breath and stuff. He's like, here, I just got this for you. I was like, oh, so sweet. Thank you. Because nobody never did nothing like that for me. Oh, dumbass, lame-ass, corny-ass nigga. He stole from me. So I'm like, oh, you did that for me, really? I was like, 15, I was 15. Yeah, 15. That was my first boyfriend. And that's the first time somebody ever had got me a gift or tried to do something for me. And I know he didn't have it, so the fact that you still made a way and you did what you had to do, that was nice. Simp ass shit. And it was only $13. But it was nice. <laughs> and it was a fake Gucci belt. <laughs> but I was so... It was sweet. Now, as you see, man, um, this is y'all leader right here. This is why it's very important to be in your kid's life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Even though you can't make them decisions man, for them. Say. Um, it seems don't let sexy red raise your kids. Like you know, she like the type of guys that you just don't want your daughter to date. You know what I'm saying? Like you know how athletes say, um, stay away from these type of guys. Like uh, when, when women tell their daughters that, or they father tell they daughters that she's seeing to like these guys. Like she get excitement out of dudes like that. And hey, this is what happened. Now I ain't gonna lie. 
Um, it's crazy because, like, bro, a lot of people are going crazy, and y'all got to think about it. This is why I say it's very important, and think about the impact that you give. You know, whether <clears throat> she want to admit it or not, she's a public figure, bro. A lot of people look up to her, and she's all over TikTok, so a lot of people see her. So imagine how many people follow her on IG. <clears throat> imagine how many little boys and girls seeing that. I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people like to promote prawn and, and brag about it, but brag a lot, but prawn is nothing good for you. It is destructive to your mind, and it is bad for you. The shit we got to do to get up, get around YouTube's guidelines, niggas got to say prawn. I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> talk to somebody that, I ain't going to lie, I watch it here and there. You know what I'm saying? I've been trying to stop for a minute. I ain't going to sit up and count. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not just out here just every day doing it, bro. But if you know, bro, once you start, it's hard to stop. I ain't going to count. Like, you really got to have a good relationship with God. Like, that's the only way you can lose. That shit not hard for me. I don't know. Prawn, okay, you can watch Prawn, but you can also go get it too. So it's just like to me, Prawn never been a problem. You know, P O R N, Prawn ain't never been a problem for me. You know, I watch it when I watch it, just like any regular person. But I'm not addicted to Prawn. You know what I'm saying? Like I can go get it. So it's just like, hey, <laughs> you got I don't know. To like stop watching Prawn is not easy, bro. For real, like I ain't gonna lie to y'all. So imagine how many little boys that follow her or little girls that follow her and seen that. You know, like y'all gotta think about it. It's deeper than what y'all think, bro. My Prawn really um, destroys the mental, bro. Like for real, like so. You know, um, she probably didn't mean to do. You don't destroy my mental. <laughs> I think about it. When you listen to all her music, even though I ain't no big fan of her, but I do like Ski Yee. I ain't gonna cap. Like, I can only be open and be honest. That's all she talk about. So, you know what I'm saying? It's like one of the situations where, hey, you step in that fire, take that flame, you know. That's just like these rappers that rap about all that shooting, shooting, game, bang, killer, killing. But when it happens to you, you can't play innocent. You know, um, sad that it happened to her. I ain't say she deserve it, you know, because she probably don't want to see herself out there like that because that is an intimate and private thing that only you and your spouse should see. But, hey, man, that's all you talk about. Hey, it was bound to happen one day, bro, because that's all. And my thing is, how did Joe, like, how did he even get into her account, her Instagram account, too, you know? I don't know, man. Like I said, it could be just a hood nigga who done got in her shit and uploaded this shit. It could also be some industry shit. But either way, stop fucking with low-life-ass niggas, right? But I can't even say that because that's what she was raised on. So you can take a person out the hood, you can't take the hood out the person, right? And... Obviously, she don't want better for herself. She still got that 15-year-old mindset. So with that being said, man, I don't feel bad for her. Sexy Red is a grown-ass adult. She can make grown-ass decisions. So let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. Let me know if y'all went to go, if your freaky ass went to go check out her tape. Man, I'm not looking at that shit. Like, I already see what I'm looking at right now, and I'm not impressed, all right? But anyway, <laughs> make sure that you guys like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell they ain't your mama, tell they Uncle Joe. He's still a mother freaking hoe. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video, and I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby.